Nearly 70 employers from our area packed part of the Coliseum today, wanting to offer jobs to veterans. It's part of State Rep Martin Carbaugh's initiative to help put veterans back to work. Right now, the unemployment rate for veterans in Indiana is about two times higher than the state's overall level. News Channel 15's Megan Royce spoke with some veterans struggling to find work, and she joins us now with their story. Veterans I've spoke with say this has been an incredible opportunity for them to meet face-to-face -face with potential employers from right here in Northeast Indiana that are actually offering jobs. It's something people like Mark Green say they've been waiting years for. It's been five years since I've been out the military. I was a damage control engineer. Veteran Mark Green says trying to start his career has been a struggle. Bouncing from one temporary job to the next. It's just been up and down hill since I've been out the military, but I'm staying optimistic, trying to think outside the box. Over the last five years, he hasn't given up or let the search bend his positive outlook. You know, you got to have a good, uh, good support system, good family, and, and know why you're doing it. You know, just the same reason why, you know, I joined the military. Same, same things that kept me motivated or same things that keep me motivated to succeed. So why are veterans having a hard time landing good jobs? Representative Martin Carball says discrimination could be partially to blame. It's hard to know exactly why a business would uh, discriminate against a veteran. None will tell you why. <laughs> but, um, you know, we think uh, there might be some, some fear of the PTSD. There's also fear of callbacks and call-ups for our reservists. Governor Pence signed Carball's bill, which makes it illegal for employers to do that. After going from booth to booth, Green says he has a very good chance at finally starting his career. I've received a lot of good uh, feedback, and it and, uh, seems like a lot of people are interested in actually pursuing and in, into what I can be an asset to. Representative Carbaugh and Work One officials tell me they hope to make this an annual event. Reporting from the Coliseum, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.